tell you something, there's nothing better than a great road trip. Now this road trip is going to be a little bit different in that I'm trying out my new Nikon D850 camera. So I've decided to head up to a place called Bagara, which is about 15 minutes outside Bundaberg or about four and a half hours drive north of Brisbane. Now Bagara is really beautiful. I actually used to live there back in 1996 to about 2003 before I moved back down to Brisbane. And it's a beautiful little town. It's a, a nice little seaside town, but I haven't been there in 15 years, so I bet you it's probably uh, grown a little bit different since then. But it has really beautiful beaches, uh, this stunning volcanic rock type shoreline. And within that, you get all these incredible rock pools. So it's gonna be an adventure. I gotta tell you, I'm having such a ball already. I've got a fantastic day for it. Beautiful blue skies. It just doesn't get any better. A few little interesting facts about Bagara. Bagara is actually the southernmost tip of uh, the world famous Great Barrier Reef. So I remember when I was living there, uh, the diving was incredible. Um, a lot of reef areas around there, beautiful fish, all that type of stuff. I know I used to do a lot of fishing up there myself. I don't do so much fishing anymore. My thing nowadays is photography. So much sugarcane there. I remember when I was living there, the um, sugarcane fires. Basically, that was to change the um, molecular, let me say that again, molecular composition of the sugar before it went to processing. It also helped get rid of all of the uh, pests. So there was a lot of snakes, a lot of rats, all that type of stuff. So yeah, I remember the fires there, the big uh, crackling fires and all the ash that used to come flying over the house. Not something I miss really. Now the way Bagara got its shoreline is from a old volcano called the Hummock. And that used to spew out lava and go down and that's the reason why you'll see on the shoreline is just all this rocky type outcrops. It's very sharp rock, black rock. But it is very picturesque and that's the reason why I'm going there to get some photos of it. This is it. This is Bagara. Tell you what, this brings back some amazing memories. And sure enough, here it is. I haven't been here in 15 years. Let me introduce you to my own little private swimming pool that I used to have. Oh, has not changed. Still full of little fish swimming around. Oh, fantastic. What a great spot. Uh, rock pool location that I found. Unfortunately the tide has come up so high that it's actually washed out the rock pool. But that's okay because I've actually found uh, another location where I've got this really beautiful rock structure and the water flowing over top of it. Not looking too bad. I've got a bit of a shower coming in behind me over here but that's all right. I think that's quite a while away yet. I'd say it's about another good 20 minutes before the sun comes up so Enough time for me to get set up and have a chat to you guys. Okay, so the sun, the sun is just starting to come over that horizon now. So I've got my frame. Let me just talk you through it really quickly before that sun comes up. Basically here I've got a 
you can see it just there. A bit of a waterfall coming off the rocks. I've got this rock here. Woo! Got this rock here. Using that as a lead-in line going straight out. Hopefully I'll just time it with the water so the water will go off the edge. Just there now. Just as that sun peaks over the horizon. Bang. Snap it. There we go. This is the reason why you get up early. This is the reason why you come out in the cold winds and all that type of stuff to get those incredible colors. And I really lucked out. You can actually see a bit of color behind me now. Oh, makes you feel really lucky you're alive. What a great spot. I haven't been here in 15 years. I never really got the opportunity to come down here and shoot a great sunrise like this. So taken me a while but I finally got back here and I tell you I am really happy really happy with that I think this one's gonna have to go up on the wall as a reminder of uh, how beautiful this place was to me thanks very much for watching I really appreciate you clicking on my videos and having a look if you appreciate it give us a thumbs up always feel free to subscribe to my channel I'll talk to you later